Hello and welcome to the year 1963. Obviously when I held this up, everybody's like, oh, 1963. That's what you think of when you think of 1963. Look at these persimmons. McGregor is one of my favorite persimmon wood manufacturers. They have the Keysight area right here. Lovely three wood. Look at the wear on this. It's so beautiful. This is the three, the four, the driver. It looks like somebody kind of started to restore this. And the five right here. I'm not terribly sure about this. Either way, A2W version with the red and black key sight insert. It's interesting, kind of a mix of grips here. So it's super interesting, 1963. I had to look it up. I wasn't around in 1963. As it turns out, JFK was assassinated. That's kind of sad news. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia was a popular film in 1963. And it was a year after the Cuban Missile Crisis, speaking of John F. Kennedy. But on, on a lighter note, my hero, all-time favorite sports icon ever in the history of the world, Michael Jordan, born 1963. Just like these clubs. It's a good year, right? Was he born with his tongue hanging out? Just like, at least I didn't spaz out, right? Did I do that in front of the camera with golf clubs? That's just embarrassing. We have persimmon woods, we have persimmon fruit. Obviously the fruit comes from the tree, as does the wood. What a genius. <laughs> this is an Asian persimmon, and these are American persimmon trees, all right? So it's funny with like the American persimmon fruits, they're like small and like people are like, the locals are like, you can eat them. And everybody else in the world is like, don't eat, don't eat the fruit, don't do it. It's funny how like there's a contrast there. But technically, they are edible. Just don't eat them when they're not ripe, otherwise you'll get bezoars in your stomach. And as we all know from the Harry Potter world, bezoars cure poison. <laughs> it's just funny. Take that for what it's worth, Harry Potter fans. Muggles. Now, looking at these woods, this one has obviously been refinished, and this one, not for a while, all right? So having a look, they call this the key sight insert. To me, it looks like a silhouette of a person, right? But you know, it's, they call it a key sight. I, I kind of get it, kind of looks like a keyhole, fine. Four screw in a kind of a pyramid pattern here, a trapezoidal pattern. Look at the grain on this wood, lovely. Um, you can see the difference on the Tommy armor on the top here on the crown. The three wood has it in, it looks like almost a gold paint, whereas the driver, it's just kind of been blacked out. I, is that just dirt in there? Is that, did they paint it black or did they just like did they scrape the gold paint out? I have no idea. It just, it looks different. Going around to the soul here, looking into their souls. Uh, this, uh, the three wood obviously has the brass color, the one, the aluminum, shining right through there. Four screw soul plate. A2W on both of them. I'm not sure if that, that one will show up. I'll have to look in post. And on the aft portion here, they have weights. Yeah, that's right. They would weight these and you could actually customize those. Look at this, just like filled. Just put your weight in there and then fill it. Back in the good old days of custom woods. People were like, you can customize them now. Yeah, but it, it's a little different though. It's not like one of a kind customization. It's just like cookie cutter customization. So pin to shaft right here. You can see the pinning. The three wood, look at the wear on this. I love this, by the way. You, oh, look, refinished. Um, serial number right here. This one is lacking the serial number. Again, another sign that it's be, been refinished and it doesn't take much to figure that out. Look at the whipping. Oh man, that's perfect. So I love this. I love seeing used clubs. That's what they're designed for. Then obviously, we have a stepped shaft, and we have two different types of grips here. I think this was put on after the pro only grip. And then I think more true to the era would be this MT grip on the three wood. So the MT McGregor grip on the three wood right here. Let's see if we can navigate these, see if we can steer these back into port here. So Tommy Armour McGregor, 1963 woods. I think we should take these out onto the range, at least the driver, and see what <laughs> and see what I can do with it.
So you just watched me hit my driver. This happens to be the three wood. So I like the three wood because the wear right here and I can see the grain across the face here. It's so beautiful. I love this air. I love persimmon woods. They have a character, a soul, and it just gets me excited. Uh, these are, by the way, made out of carbon. Did you know that wood is a carbon organism? Trees, they get that carbon from the air. So they're taking greenhouse gases. The, the, the trees are saving the world and they're putting it and they're storing it in wood. And then by continuing to restore these and preserve this wood, we are saving, you and I, the vintage golfers are saving the planet by keeping this harmful carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. We're, we, if you want to save the world, subscribe, visit the Amazon shop in the description below, and I make some proceeds to continue this channel, to continue to save the world. Aren't we such good people? You should tell all your friends well, what good people we are, are these vintage golfers. Tommy Armour McGregor, 1963, Persimmon Woods. Let me know what you think about him. Let me know what you think about the insert, the persimmon, everything about it. I'm excited to read your comments about these woods. They're on my list. That's why I bought them. I love them. I'm going to game them. I'm going to try to build a set around these. Just lovely. Tommy Armour Air McGregor Persimmon. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.